channel and today I'm going to share three fall diffuser blends that you need to start using in your home right now. These diffuser blends are perfect for the fall season because it smells all just like fall and the good thing about using essential oils is they're toxic free and the fragrance you can adjust it to your likeness so if you don't like something super strong or you want something a little bit more stronger a scent feel free to adjust the drops that you put in your diffuser so the first thing i want to talk about is why diffuse essential oils um i think to diffusing essential oils helps with your emotional and mental well-being it has great aromatherapy properties it can help reduce stress reduce anxiety bring joy and different oils such as cinnamon and clove and nutmeg that are all the smells of fall have so many benefits so aromatherapy like we all know is the smells of you know our seven our five senses right five senses that we have and with that being said um, they can trigger things and I have my notes here they trigger things such as your mental emotional and physical state so the blends I'm gonna do today one is very sweet so it's gonna bring spark a little bit more joy in your home a little bit more happiness and motivation then I have another blend that's more warming um, the pumpkin pie spice blend is it's more warming and comforting it helps reduce that stress and anxiety and anxious feeling that we have and then my autumn blend um, gives a lot of the same things but also helps us to feel grounded and um, more at peace with ourselves so one of the things I do want to say is when you handle um, your essential oils make sure that you don't touch any of your eyes nose and mouth because some of these are hot oils like cinnamon where they have a little bit more spice to it where if you touch those areas that are more sensitive they're going to give a burning sensation so just make sure you wash your hands after you handle the essential oils so we don't have any problems like that it can also cause skin irritation on some people I would also, you know, I would probably test a, a drop on your skin just to make sure there's no skin irritation. And if so, then maybe avoid those oils or maybe reduce those oil drops or be mindful of them. Make sure you always clean your diffusers. Um, that's going to give you the best, best diffusing um, opportunities that are available to your diffuser and there's so many great diffusers on the market and I will be sure to link some of my favorites in the description box below but also check out the blog post that's attached to this so you can print the diffuser blends and use them throughout the fall season and then also you will know some of the places where I purchase some of the essential oils and the diffuser that I like personally and if you have any questions about the essential oils and the diffuser let me know because I strongly believe in this there's something about like diffusing and mixing oils that they give me certain things to bring a little bit more balance in my home and comfort so um, also too, I, um, you want to make sure you store your essential oils in a cool, dark place. You don't want this on a sunny, sunny window seal, or you don't want this in a very cold, cold place, like a cool one or a hot place, because it's going to depreciate the value of your essential oils. So make sure that you do that and make sure your tops are secure and your spouts are secure and whatnot. And then also, I highly recommend diffusing your oils where there's a common area, like such as a living room, um, a family room, maybe a main hallway. Even a bedroom is fine too, but be mindful if the bedroom is smaller, you probably want to put less oils in there because it's going to be very fragrant and very empowering and whatnot. So uh, the places I like to diffuse my essential oils are in my main center of my home, my main living space. I don't like them too close to the kitchen because it would mix with some of the smells of um, dinner and lunch that I'm preparing, but it, it's in the main area where we maybe sit and read or watch television. Um, and then also too, I diffuse up in my main um, second floor in the hallway because then it brings um, the diffusing blends into the general area of the second floor of my home. 
Now, let's talk about some of the oils. We have our orange essential oil, and this is great because it does reduce stress. It also turns a frown upside down, if, if you, you know, excuse the pun, but it can bring joy and happiness and calming, and it will feel, you'll feel less stress diffusing it. Cinnamon, this oil that we just talked about briefly, is warm and comforting, um, and especially if you're feeling sad about something, um, maybe not happy about something, this is a nice oil because it can bring you um, comfort. Frankincense is an oil that we all know, we've heard it in the Bible. I have this with my winter blend. Um, I use frankincense with a lot of things, but this is very grounding, very spiritual. It helps relieve anxiety. Um, so this is just a great oil to have in your atmosphere throughout all the seasons and especially fall. Then we have nutmeg. Nutmeg is, obviously you've heard of the spice, it's perfect around this time. It's in a lot of our fall dishes that we prepare, but it's very uplifting and can help you unwind after a long physical day. So if you have a job or a long workout or something like that or a long commute, very physical and you feel drained, this is a nice oil to have in the fall, especially when we're back to school um, for our children and things like that or working out on your farm if you own a farm or outdoors you know preparing you know the fall leaves gathering all that up then we have clove essential oil and i like to diffuse that in the fall not only because it's clove but it's very stimulating can motivate you to get a project done around your house so if you have a large project that you need to get done and you've been procrastinating any clove is a nice oil to help with that and then finally, lime essential oil, which you probably are thinking, lime is an oil that, hmm, you know, I use a lot in the spring and summer, not so much in the fall. But I like to incorporate this oil because it does um, promote that fresh scent that we love with the seasons changing. You know, every season brings something fresh to it and it helps eliminate odors. So a lot of times in the fall, there's a lot of different odors that are going around from, you know, um, the rain and the change of the season. Um, sometimes, you know, even back to school with your athletes and things like that, you want that lime essential oil can inspire you, um, also inspire you to create something new and what better time in the fall to create a new recipe or to start a new project or whatnot. So I like to have lime. So the three diffuser blends that we're going to diffuse today is my leaves, fall leaves essential oil blend, which incorporates these oils, and my candy, candy corn, just like the candy, um, but without the you know added sugars. So that's a nice, fresh, um, sweet blend. And then our pumpkin pie essential oil diffuser blend. So let's turn the camera around and let's go ahead and diffuse those and see how I do it and um, whatnot.
Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope I inspired you to get started with essential oils and to diffuse some beautiful fall diffuser blends this fall. Like I said, if you need any help on how to get started with essential oils, let me know in the comments below um, and I'd be more than welcome to chat with you to see, tell you more benefits of essential oils and like also to remember to check out that blog post um, so you can print these diffuser blends, maybe post on your refrigerator or in your planner to diffuse them this fall. There's so many great things about essential oils and um, I think this is you know, something that you need to do and maybe eliminate a lot of those aerosol cans with um, synthetic fragrances and burn candles that have a lot of fragrances that release a lot of toxins into the environment that aren't healthy and safe for you. And I find these to be very budget friendly. Yes, a bottle, some of the bottles are a little bit pricier, but like I said, a drop goes a long way um, when diffusing and, and I can have a larger bottle um, like this for almost a year and a smaller bottle for depending on how much I use it almost you know eight months so I hope this video inspires you to live a more natural well simpler lifestyle on a budget and give me a thumbs up if you enjoy videos like this hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos from me and I will talk to you guys all real soon mm -hmm.